The key part to, uh, to having a good dog team is having excellent obedience. So it's a, it's a very uh, viable uh, resource for uh, taking bad guys, bad people into custody. Canine Companions is a national nonprofit organization that breeds, raises, and trains assistance dogs for people with disabilities. So now Merit is going to show you what our advanced training dogs can do. <laughs> we do um, a lot of work with kids with special needs, autism and Down syndrome, and uh, they can perform practical tasks for those children as well as being an amazing companion. When that soft story collapses and we can't get in through the front door, Angus can climb about a story on a ladder to access the building when the front door isn't accessible anymore and he can work on rope systems in order to get him higher up on the building. The first time the U.S. military used dogs uh, as far as uh, overseas deployed was back in World War II when they used uh, dogs for sentry dogs to protect uh, personnel, uh, also to guard prisoners. So today we brought our dogs out here and showed the civilian public what we could do. Uh, with my dog I demonstrated <coughs> some basic obedience and directional skills that he has so we can send him in different directions to uh, search certain areas. He's a specialized search dog so he's off leash capable of explosive detection and he can search buildings, uh, vehicles, open areas, roadways, different areas like that. When someone is missing it's controlled by the sheriff's department and when the sheriff has a missing person, they call for help. Uh, they call California OES, the uh, governor's office, and they contact us and we go out and try and help find them. We're all volunteers, like volunteer firefighters. Uh, we all have regular paid jobs and do this as a way to give back to the community. Uh, in our business, every search is an emergency, meaning that someone's missing, they could be in danger, their life threatened. The faster that we can deploy resources to find them, the better. Uh, these dogs can find a person 50 times faster than a, a human being can because they're so, so good with their nose. And they're trying to find a missing person by a, a target odor, something that smells like them. We call it a scent article. Uh, they're trained as puppies to follow the track of a missing person. And as they get very, very good at it, uh, they can follow tracks up to three or four days old. And it's pretty amazing what they can do. Um, last month alone, our dogs found four people, three of which were alive. It was a really great success. To find someone you know, alive that would have possibly passed away is a really, really great, great opportunity to give back to the community. So we're really happy to be here, and thank you for, uh, for asking questions. Flea Weeks uh, Bark in the Park to be a very enjoyable experience today. We enjoyed meeting with the public and answering questions about people's traveling knowledge, as well as educating people about the agriculture risks associated with bringing fruits into the country. Uh, we did super enjoy to come back again. Uh, Floyd enjoyed sniffing the grass and finding stuff, uh, finding his target bags and getting cookies for lots of pets. <laughs>